Hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. In the um, last episode, I was talking about all of this um, metal processing facility I've been building up down here and how it was all going. And I think when I when I left, some of the belts were in place, but a lot of these buildings were still missing. So there's there was a lot of construction work to be done. But between episodes, the bots have been very busy and they've laid out most of these belts. Um, this is nearly all finished all the way around here. We've got all the... Um, got the warehouses in for, to go with the stations and yeah it's it's coming along well it is nearly finished um, there's a few, a few little bits to do as you can see there's uh, some of the a few of the warehouses are missing there's the odd gap here and there in the belts that's not quite done yet um, I don't think that one was actually going to be done it looked like it was missed out there's a f um, but yeah we're getting very very close just a few little gaps here and there left left to fill in however I suspect I did notice while I was fiddling around with it that there were some bots buzzing around up here um, and I was worried that a lot of these seemed to not be getting across but actually now I now I look no I think I think they're still struggling. It looks like the um, the Mark One proper construction bots are able to just about make the distance, but I think these ones are just going backwards and forwards endlessly between. Here. They're getting somewhere into this dark area and then going, "Oh no, I've run out of battery!" So then they're then going back to this um, this robot port here in order to charge back up again, and then setting off and just never getting anywhere. So what I'm going to do is extend the robot port network up a little bit and just have a couple of extra ones one in here amongst these stations and another one up on on these islands here and that will allow me to at least get the uh, the bots over here <laughs> and finishing off this processing facility I'd also had a couple of additional thoughts that I haven't implemented yet and that was that if I have everything building up um, metal ingots then I can start mixing and producing the more interesting metals down there as well so rather than having stuff pipe, um, trained off to um, other parts of the base and setting up various different things there it would be far more efficient to just do that in the same place all of the metals are being created in the first place and then have everything trained from there rather than faffing around with moving it around too much there we go that's the robot ports in let's see if that helps those bots out a bit now these ones are all still trundling downwards, so they've obviously not not changed their minds about where they're going. Um, but never mind, I think those might be logistics bots actually. It's oh yeah, I could do that to tell. Um, yes, I think those are logistics bots. I have to admit, I'm not 100% certain. Yeah, so I since the last episode, I finished off this line of robot ports along here. At least as, oh, there's a gap. <laughs> Fail. Um, at least as far as this point, um, and then obviously these have stopped because they've uh, they can't go any further. And I built another string of them down across here to link things up and to give the robots a few extra charging points to go to as well. So hopefully that's all helping a bit. I don't know why this is without power. That's something to go down and check. But otherwise, we are very nearly there, and quite soon I'm going to be able to turn this whole thing on and see what happens. Oh, and summon some more robots to finish off this belt as well. There's always a little bit more that you didn't spot, isn't there? Okay, let's um, sort out these pr problems I've just been spotting. None of these are too serious as problems go, so it shouldn't take me long to get get all this up and running again properly. So is it? Yes, it's this one that isn't linked to anything. <laughs> so that would need to be there, but then presumably that one, yeah, doesn't have the range. So. Let's just put put in an extra robot port like that. There. Okay, now the the automated construction can carry on along here. Get all of this set up. The next thing was down here. This this belt isn't going to get built automatically. Oh, and I've run out of robot ports. Let's order some more. Otherwise, I mean, uh, yeah. Let's go around here and have a look for the uh, things that aren't powered. Sort those out first. I am very tempted to just turn this whole thing on at once find out what happens <laughs> and that means and to turn it on oh I need to link up these lines here where I've got the brakes in I need to there's a belt down here for the coal somewhere here we go that I need to join up so I can get carbon and coal to all of my uh, smelting machines and I need to tell each of these stations what to request by programming it into their um, their combinator box I think I'm just gonna turn it all on 
and find out what happens. Here we go. This is going to be at least, what is it? It's two episodes, I think. Um, and a significant amount of time building all of this. Let's find out if it works. And then realise I've made some hor horrific mistake and should have done it all completely differently. But that's the Factorio way, isn't it? Oh, it's Crushed Stone Pickup. I don't need to program that one at all because that's an input station. Here we have an, out, uh, an, in, uh, an arrival station, and this one is Sapphirite. Can't see its box, there's its box. And I set this to minus. I set it to minus 16,000. There we go, train, train delivery has been triggered already automatically, that's nice. And this one is Jeeva Light, must be because it's yellow. Yes. As Jeeva Light. Protinium, perhaps? Yes. Ah yes, that was a silicon one, which I decided I would actually convert into ingots and move over there. So that's currently a spare one. And then these are all pickup stations. So we'll just let this run for a bit. See how that goes. Put in this pile on manually because... Oh, <laughs> the bot was almost there. Alright, never mind. And down here, turn the coal supply on. That will now filter through here, fuel up all of these um, blast furnaces. And also, down here, it will start, ma start making carbon for those processes that require it. It makes, I have to admit, it makes me quite nervous building all of this stuff up and then just pressing go without testing anything at all. We'll see how, um, how well I've done. <laughs> That's the crushed, crushed coal, if it ever lets any pass to get to the other um, machines down here. You're lacking coke. Okay, let's put those in there. Oh, you can, interesting, you can burn crushed coal. I don't know if it's going to cause a problem when that runs out. Oh, uh, when that runs out, rather, but that's going to get fed up, fed more. Right, okay. I'm going to need to put regular coal. That's, that's pain. I need to put regular coal in the bottom here and crushed coal in the top. And then hopefully the inserters will keep them both filled with the appropriate materials. Yes, that seems to be. Well, the top one's certainly working. I guess we'll find out about the coal when it suddenly stops. <laughs> there we go, there's a belt missing in there. This sort of level of having to debug things, I, I can cope with. It's not not so bad. As long as nothing more major happens. Goes wrong than that. Yep, we've got the um, carbon coming around here. That's good. This all seems to be working. Excellent. Now, the, um, the other thing is, these ones, how are they doing? Badly. Where have I gone wrong here? Um, have I missed a step? I have missed a step, I think. No, I haven't. These don't have any, they don't have any purified water going in there. I'm going to nip over there and make sure that is the problem. Because <laughs> if it's just that I've forgotten to um, put in a purified water construction, for want of a better word, <coughs> then that's easily en easy enough fixed. The other thing I've not dealt with is the output from all of the of all of these liquids. Actually, come to think of it, that's what I'm going to need to do, or they'll run very, very briefly and then just dry up. Yeah, so it's picked up. Okay, it's picked up the rhubarb, but it doesn't have any purified. That's okay. I can cope with that. That pro that sort of problem. I don't mind too much. <laughs> oh, and I haven't done anything with the um, the gemstones that are going to be produced by this either. They're just going to have to go in um, in a warehouse for now, because I don't know what to do with them yet. However, the LTN stage has all worked perfectly, we know, well, you'll note. All of the ores have arrived, are being fed down to the appropriate machines underneath, and yeah, that's just worked, TM. I might have to go along here and switch half of these to other side of bells. I don't know if I'm going to have the volume flowing through needed, that, that that's needed for, uh, that, need, that requires that, but it is something I should probably do. Okay, well that didn't kick into, into, into um, motion quite to the extent I was hoping it would, I'll admit, um, because as I said, I forgot all the fluid handling stuff over here. But that's hopefully not going to be too big of a job to get to get that sorted. So let's have a let's have a look at that now. Where do I have water around here? There's, there's a lake down here and another lake. Oh, there's one over here. So there's quite a bit of water around that I can I can pull from. I've already got water coming up here, that, so it'd be quite tempting to run a pipe up and then across all the way across. Or hmm perhaps in this gap here. I don't the thing is I don't know how much space I'm going to require to purify the water. Let's have a look. There are lots of different ways to make purified water. Most of them are probably by byproducts. So you can do it from steam, 
but that strikes me as being quite quite expensive in power, should we say? And I don't so because uh, you have to boil all of the water, and then um, and then condense it back into into water, into purified water. You can make it from oxygen and hydrogen. Don't have a ready supply of hydrogen though. Water. Oh, here we go. Water turns into saline water from purified water. That sounds nice and easy and probably reasonably quick. So we'll just yeah, I'll chuck some of these in somewhere. Maybe I will put them in here for now. At least. Um, and then I can just, I could just dump the saline water. Do we use this for anything? Oh, it's make, for making um, making the gases and things. Right, that's um, interesting. Is that how I'm doing it over here? Because chlorine and hydrogen is what I'm using up here, isn't it? Yes, that is what I'm doing. So I've got masses of purified water coming out here that I'm just chucking away, which I want down here. And then here, if I do this one, I'll just be chucking away the saline water, which produces... Oh, dear. That's wonderfully inefficient, isn't it? Especially as I'm going to start using these... Um, Products. I think I'm going to just, just do that anyway. So what's that made in? That's done in a hydro plant, which I don't think I have it have been constructed yet. So I'll just have to build those in my pockets, for which I need. Where's my construction vehicle? It's over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, there it is. Did say circuit board, and oh, I'm running out of iron in here. I've just been using that a lot, <laughs> and that's one hydro plant. What am I out of now? Stone bricks. Those I have a lot of. No, I need electronics boards. They're not going to be anywhere near me, are they? Because I'm not doing any sort of any of that sort of construction over here. It's going to be right over here. Okay, where's my car, dude? Where is my car? I don't know whether I should try and keep a supply of the commonly used ingredients in my inventory because there's so many of them that that's going to take up a lot of space. I could keep them in the construction bot, uh, construction vehicle. That's kind of what it's there for. But I don't know whether I'd be able to keep it up to date. I'd just forget and wouldn't be very good at it. The alternative is to run over here every time I need stuff, which isn't ideal. Save for me. That's there. Thank you. Up until now, I've kind of been relying on me accidentally picking up enormous quantities of, well, basically everything, and then dumping it into the construction vehicle, and therefore always having it available when I need it. That isn't a great plan, as you've just seen. It has a tendency to I have a tendency to run out of things that I actually need. Especially as the things that I need the most are going to be the things that are used the most. Uh, sorry, the things I need the most will get used up and then I won't, just won't have any of them left. Not ideal. No. Do what I want. Not what I say. Um, right about here somewhere. Okay, let's tighten this belt up so it goes up here much closer to where it's... much closer to the other ones. That'll free up a bit more space in there for my hydro plants. That. That's the one. Purification. Good. Water, water is now flowing. I also need a clarifier in here to get rid of the stuff that I need over on the other side of the base. Joy, which is this one. I only leave these gaps so that I can run through them when I'm trying to get around the, the um, everything. That feels like an excuse to drop a massive electrical pole in the way. <laughs> and then the other one other output. This is the one that I actually want, and I need to run along the top here so I can get to it. These don't seem to be very well lined up. What's gone on? Oh, I see. <laughs> right. Um, this is some horrible design, i.e. it's Factorio meets the real world, <laughs> or Factorio plans meet the real world. Right, some of these may just suddenly start working now, or not. What have I missed? That. Why is there a pipe? Maybe I was intending to bring it in from up there by train. I'm not honestly not sure. Right, so those are now working. Excellent. One of these is now working. <laughs> to start. Yep, these seem to be... No, no, they're not this one. <laughs> that was a bit of a mess around there. I'm... Oh, it's probably because of this belt here that just sort of threw my... threw my neat construction plans off and I had to have second and third and subsequent thoughts to, and to get everything lined up properly. Don't need any of that. That one? I think that means one more. Right. Oh, cock. <laughs> that needs to be blue thing, crystal things. Uh, where are the, where are the, where are the weird crystal things? I knew it was too good to be true. Blue ones. Right. The uh, theory was good, but I just need to pick up all of these um, blue crystally things and chuck them on the um, other belt over here. And this belt's going. This belt is, of course, going to back up quite soon. That's okay. It's sort of by design. Okay, we've got purple ones here. Oh, for goodness sake, it's not the time! It's not the time, Kato. Where is that anyway? Over there. Right. There. Yeah, to be fair, there's no plasma turrets on this side at all, um, apart from that one, <laughs> which is definitely doing its job. Alright, I'll try to go and deal with that in a moment. Alright, 
that's uh, two of them. Yellow ones from here. I'm going to have to have a look into what, what to do with all these geodes, because I mean, obviously the belt is going to fill up very, very quickly, which is okay. It's sort of, I'm not going to say it's by design, but it's expected based on how I've um, set it up. Why is this stopped? Oh, the pipes are full. What are these ones even called? Cyan. Okay. Okay. So with the other one, the old Jeevalite one I set up a while back, I just was I was just collecting all of these in a in a warehouse and warehouses were seemed to be absolutely enormous. So I, I was treating that as a bottomless pit essentially, and that was fine at the time. Um, but I suspect at some point I'm going to need to work out what to do with those. Here we go. Here are the um, the metals coming along here. Now the presumably that's nickel because that was the one I didn't want. So that's that's stacked up a little bit. That's fine. That's not a problem. The other ores though, or maybe that one's nickel. Nickel and zinc, I think, are the two I didn't do. Right. So the question is, have I managed to produce it a little bit? Yes. There we go. There's 24 silicon in there. Uh, 24. I think that's cobalt. That's probably tin. These are all empty though. Why are these empty? Oh, gold needs um, chlorine gas. Ah, which is going to be, which can be produced from um, from this. Okay, let's pull that water out or out from there and turn that into chlorine in order to make the gold. Silver, I think. I don't know why that one hasn't. Output any. What does silver come from? Okay, so some silver should have been produced by the crotinium, but admittedly not an enormous quantity of it. So perhaps, perhaps it's just yes. There we go. It's got it's got the 14 ore in it, but it's not been able to actually smelt that into any ingots yet. Okay, that's all right. This one needs the um, carbon carbon monoxide to be fed into it. So that's understandably not going. That was lead, I think. That one has, yeah, that one's running happily. Good. That one ran, I saw it. This one needs the sodium hydroxide to come in by train. And that one's working. Okay, so partial success. I mean, I'd say quite a lot of that has kicked off and, and worked as it should have done. So I'm, 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 I'm reasonably pleased with that, even though it's clearly not, not actually finished. So the next stages are I need to do something with the wastewater coming off here. So I've got sulfuric wastewater, the fluoric, and the chloric, and the nitric. And those all need collecting and turning into the appropriate acids. The sulfuric one I can then try and feed over here, maybe to make into batteries. Is that what do we need? Is that do we need? Is it sulfuric acid for batteries? I think it might be. Yes. So I can try and feed the sulfuric acid over here and turn it into batteries. That's quite a long way. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get a train for that. Or maybe I'll do battery construction over here and train the batteries around. That might be easier. I don't know might be better better for things to use it for the other acids i don't have any use for yet i don't really want to um, vent them um, and not just because that would be absolutely horrendous for the environment but mostly because i think it'd be a, a huge waste um, and as discussed i need to do something with these crystals i'm gonna have a quick look at the crystals i'll probably cut this out because it's kind of dull but um uh, geodes sorry what do we do with geodes right okay so i've had a quick look um, I've only checked a couple of them, admittedly, but it seems there's, there's basically two possible, two choices. You either dissolve them in sulfuric acid to make crystal slurry, or you crush them to make stone and crystal dust, and then you dissolve the crystal dust in, um, or you can either make it into gems, which presumably have uses, I haven't looked into that yet, or you dissolve it in sulfuric acid and make it into crystal slurry. <laughs> so, okay, so for the amount of acid used, it's significantly more efficient to, um, to crush them first. And it's going to be a bit simpler with the logistics because there's only going to be one place where I'm trying to dissolve them. And there doesn't really seem to be anything to do with geodes apart from crush them or dissolve them. Whereas there is stuff to do with crystal dust. So let's make the um, let's make the crystal dust out of all of these and feed the crushed stone out as well into the into the in the usual way. And then decide what to do with the slurry afterwards. Ah, I see. So the um, I can also turn them in the uh, crystal dust into through a var variety of processes. They they turned into actual jewels which can then be used for the um, the various advanced modules, but I haven't even got level one modules yet, so I'm honestly not gonna worry about that. I think I'm just gonna stockpile them and maybe what can I do with the crystal slurry? I'm not seeing any real uses for them here, so um, I suppose I could just bin it. That seems wasteful. Let's at least fill a warehouse up with um, crystal dust first. Sounds like a drug, doesn't it? No, officer, I promise I'm not uh, generating drugs down here in my lovely little base. Okay, that's straightforward enough. Do I have crushers? No. My construction vehicle has crushers, though, I'm sure of it. I suspect one of these is going to be sufficient for each output, but we'll find out. Did I misread what, what I'm supposed to do with these things? What I'm supposed to crush them in? 
No, okay, it must just be the crushed stone recipe then. Or is that a tech I haven't unlocked yet? It is. Alright, let's find out how to process geodes then. If I just copy that, that's probably going to work, isn't it? As long as it doesn't reprogram anything. Yep, that looks good. I'm out of... Oh, no, I'm not. There's someone here. <laughs> I am requesting yellow belts, but not remotely enough of them. There we go. Let's do that. So, and that's nice and straightforward. We've got the, um, all of the, all the crushers unloading onto a belt, which will then split out the crushed stone onto the existing belt for crushed stone, and then dump the, ge uh, the crystal dust on this belt, which will carry all of it along here, to along here, and let's set it up as if it was a station and maybe at some point in the future we'll add in another station to deal with the um, to take this all away once we decide what we want to use it for then we can build a station to take it where we want it ah geo processing is finished excellent i'm going to lay these by hand i don't care if there's bots coming down to do it all for me so you are not going to do that you're going to do uh, blue just need to wait for the um, bots to come along and give everything power so it'll run it'll run all by itself Okay, so the sulfuric wastewater gets converted into sulfur mineralized water purified water in a hydro plant. Okay, so I think the best thing to do is going to be to convert the sulfuric wastewater into sulfur and then pass that back into the into the system. Is it worth trying to send it up here? So there's only one place where sulfur stored. I don't think so. That's quite a long way to send it. So we'll have another pickup in here somewhere. So is there room for another station? Yes, there's a pickup here. Okay, cool. We'll send it. Dump the sulphur onto um, this belt, and that can deal with it. The next question is, what do we do with the other wastewaters? So we're going to have chloric, which presumably turns into chlorine. Oh, interesting. That just turns into... Oh, of course, saline water. That makes sort of sense, although I'm not sure where the sodium comes from to turn that into sodium chloride water. But, yeah, I mean, who cares? But the purified water, that's that's great. I can just chuck the saline water away. That's fine. I chuck a whole lot away, to be honest. Chloric fluoric. Fluorite ore. That sounds possibly useful. Okay, so the nitric is, again, fairly harmless. So the only ones... There's only two of them that actually produce anything particularly interesting. And only one of those that I actually particularly need at the moment. So what I'm going to do with this is pipe it across the top here. You're something else. Yes, you're fluoric. Don't need you at the moment. That's sulfuric as well. I can join in. Right, this top machine here. Let's cut the outputs off so we don't confuse things. And cut that as well. You're going to start converting sulfuric wastewater into other things. Okay, I'm going to need another clarifier up here for this. I'm going to need to start requesting. And I've probably got lots of pipes in the construction vehicle. Let's not request those yet. I'm always surprised how big the clarifiers are, although I am zoomed quite a long way in. Maybe that's why I'm out of pipes. I should um, put a tank in here and a valve and stuff because I want this one to have priority. So let's cut that off for now. Where are those mini tanks? There's an inline storage tank. Top up valve? Yes, top up valve is what I want. Let's take the cheap one. I mean, why not? Make sure it's in the right way around. <laughs> Right, that seems to be stable so far. Yeah, because these ones, I don't care how much they produce. Uh, look, here we go. This is one of these backed up or... No, why is that backed up? What's the problem here? Why are those not going in? Oh dear, where have I gone wrong? Oh. <laughs> That's where I've gone wrong. There's no... This needs something to pass the slag back up to come off on one belt. Or not, because I can just do this and then it'll just pour out the system <laughs> yeah I didn't think of that but that does seem to have fixed it it uh, looks weird but it does seem to work so I'm not going to knock it it's a bit of a flood going up there but hopefully the uh, systems I've put in will be able to cope with it yeah that looks fine well yeah it's being used up faster than it's coming in and the, yeah that, that, that's all fine what isn't going to be fine is the um, sulfur being produced here that's all going to be building up in there so I'm going to need another belt it's going up to here yes. just in case I'm going to have it come in from here just in case I need to shove in another machine another water whatever it is a 
Although, to be honest, if I did, I'd probably move it down and take up a second one from here. Right, let's have two of these. One for each side of the belt. And power them. There we go. Now we have another, nearly have another sulfur pickup station. That's good. Hopefully, this will get the batteries working again. However, I'll be producing enough here that I can actually start producing batteries at a decent rate. Oh, look at that, sorting. Okay, so that, that's working because I'm turning all the sulfuric acid, sulfur wastewater into sulfuric into sulfur. There should be one along here working as well. At least one. Why is this one not working? Because I haven't put a pipe on the corner, I bet. No, that's, that's alright. It's not full. Why have you stopped? No more input. Oh, what? Why is that trying to sort the wrong? Oh, don't... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, this is stupid. But when I, when I came along here, I reprogrammed all of my crushers. So you're meant to be... Right. That's now working very heavy um, <laughs> scare quotes. So the three of them that are running off that produce sulfuric wastewater are now running perfectly happily. The ones that produce other weird things are not. And to be honest, at this stage, I'm just going to dump those into clarifiers because I don't know what to do with them and I can't be bothered with storing them, to be being quite frank with you. Um, it just doesn't seem worth the effort. No doubt I will come to regret this in the same way that I regretted not keeping the um, all the crushed stone from everything ever. But in the meantime, this will do. Okay, uh, that's okay. That's interesting. We um, seem to be using purified water up far faster than I would expect. So very waste of water is not being dealt with quickly enough. What are those things called? Hydro. Let's put in one more hydro plant. See what happens. Why are you not running flat out? Because you're full of. I didn't put that back up again. Right, there we go. I still need another one of these to deal with all of this. It's clearly not enough um, purified water being generated, and not enough sulfuric wastewater being dealt with either. Okay, that tank's filling up fairly quickly. <laughs> Actually, maybe it's holding. All right, we'll um, give this a few minutes and see how the the, the various tanks cope. That one's basically empty. These are all running flat out. That's gone down a bit. Okay. This is obviously quite a lossy process. I mean, it's a, okay, it's obviously a lossy process because I'm pumping water away here, acid, water away here and here, and in these two as well. So that makes sense as to why there's more water flowing in and these machines are still running. I could convert the other acids to purified water and stuff. Is that worth doing? It feels like a good idea, actually. If I'm going to just chuck it away, I might as well pull the useful stuff out first. Ooh, I can even make Mark IIs. Alright, let's have two of them. Why is this one stopped? There's no water making it all the way down to the end. Right. Yeah, we do have a water shortage then. Yeah, we definitely do. Look at that. Now, of course, what I'm not doing, and I said I need to definitely do, <laughs> is control which things are getting, which, which machines are running based on what I actually need, rather than just which machines can run at any given time. Oh, that's so bad. Why is this not working? Okay, that's fine. Ah, and now we see one of these is backed up. Looks like lead, because it's not getting its uh, carbon monoxide in order to actually process it. So, got the lead ore in there. Not, not, not really the oxygen, sorry, not carbon monoxide. Okay, that's another thing to fiddle with. And that's backed up both of these while it's um, at it. I still need more water processing. Okay, I'm going to have to extend this downwards. Um, <laughs> I'm out of pipes. It's ridiculous. I'm running out of everything. I'm going to need to go on a resupply mission, I think. Where are normal pipes? Right, okay. Build them by hand, like some kind of savage. What's that about? It's not going down to zero. It's not exactly holding, it's not exactly going up either. I think that means we're still short of water. Never mind, this is going to all back up fairly soon and then we'll have at least a bit of a respite while I figure out what to do with... Well, the lead I need to produce oxygen for, that's a, a known issue. It's the zinc and the nickel that are going to be a bit more complicated. And the sodium hydroxide actually, why am I not getting any of that yet? Have I, have I programmed the station? Probably not. I need you to request that one. Okay, so there's nowhere supplying it, supposedly. It's supposed to be coming from over here. That's not linked. Pretty sure that should be linked. 
Yes, okay, that's why it's not working. <laughs> oh, right, I'll nip over and fix that because that's a fairly easy one to do. And then I'm going to call it an episode because it's been an hour. I think quite a lot's happened. I think that's been quite exciting. Hopefully, yeah, everyone who's watching will agree. <laughs> and then we can think about what to do next. Um, specifically, there's a couple of gases that we need to get in for the um, metal smelting to work. And then there's going to be the uh, rather interesting job of trying to um, keep everything balanced. Oop, here we are. What have you got anyway? 2,700. That's not very much. Why has production stopped? No, seriously, why has production stopped? You're full of... I thought I had a blow-off valve. For that. I, I did have a blow-off. I do. So this is. Ah, I think I see the problem. I need to link that to that. There we go. Right. So what had happened there is I told this pump to run if there was more chlorine than there was hydrogen. hydrogen. Um, but then I'd forgotten to link it to the tank, so it was just never running. I don't actually need that pump in there, to be honest. I could just put a couple of pieces of pipe in. Because I've got the overflow valve there, it'll go whenever this is above whatever percentage, uh, 20,000. So there'll always be 20,000 chlorine available and always uh, 2,000 hydrogen available for this to use. And it'll blow off any spare beyond that. So that should be okay. Shame about this chlorine, actually. That would be useful here, but also over here. And I and I totally could pipe it down there, but that seems crazy. Actually, maybe not. Let's let's give it a shot. Let's put that pump back in here as well, so we've got some pressure to take it all that distance. This is crazy, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's put these corners in now while I remember, because if I don't, I'll feel silly. Why do I not have grenades anymore? I can't believe I'm using the machine gun to clear forests. That's ridiculous. God, there's so many weapon things. Where are grenades? There are grenades. I'm not going to be in a bot catchment area, am I? No. I don't even know if the grenades are being put into it. I don't even know if I'm making, making grenades automatically. <laughs> now I better remember not to clear this forest out with grenades. Or I'll blow up my pipeline. I should... Where am I? I'm here. And I need it here. Yeah, if I go along to here and then down and then across under that belt. Uh, ish. That should be alright. I didn't put a corner on that one. I'll have to go back. Whew. That's a long old pipeline. I don't know what sort of flow rate I'll get down it, but hopefully I'm not going to be using that much chlorine at the very end where it's being used as, as a catalyst. Not, not as a catalyst, but as a part of the process anyway. Oh! <laughs> I don't believe it. Okay, let's let a bot do that. It'll take forever, but I'm not running all the way back up there. Okay, that's that one fixed. <laughs> yeah. So now the gold will run through quite happily. So now the problems are the zinc and the nickel, which are going to require more compl complex processing, and the um, sodium hydroxide for the alumina, alumina, that stuff. Oh, but now I'm producing chlorine here. That might come through a bit quicker. No, not really. It's been blown off before, so it's being produced as fast as it can. Which is terrible. What I'm probably going to end up doing is, a, is just leaving this little system here doing what it's doing and getting rid of this entire long pipeline that I've just put all that effort into putting down <laughs> and having a large chlorine producing facility down here and then trying to use the hydrogen for something else which feels like a bit of a shame but yeah massive chlorine and sodium hydroxide producing facility because I'm going to need lots of the sodium hydroxide maybe I don't I don't know what sort of proportion I haven't even looked pump there we go now the gold's being done excellent so it's the oxygen for this one sodium hydroxide for the aluminium and then we're done for those, but I still need to work out nickel and zinc. That can be a job for another time. I'm be pleased with that. It's been, yeah, it's not so much been debugging. There's not been all that much that has not worked. However, there's been quite a lot that was a bit further from finished than I thought it was. <laughs> and I needed a lot more purified water than I realised I would as well. So that's, we'll see how this copes when I get the full, full steam construction again, uh, production again. But I do quite like the, um, the colours here, we've got all the, the mixture of different ores coming in here and then the perfect ones coming out again on the other side. Why are these? Oh, because of that. Right, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll head over there and fix those. That's another. That's probably another reason it's gummed up, is because the uh, the copper not going through. Okay, I'll get that fixed up in the next episode as well. But generally, this is actually working. I'm, um, I'm quite pleased. And on that bombshell, <laughs> it's time to end and I'll see you next time.